what's up everybody this is the last video of 2020 obviously because there's only one day left so what i'm doing i have a four thousand one hundred and eighty six dollar collection this is just the guns not mags accessories for those weapons included so we're going to jump right into this we're going to start this out big a two dollar springer and i mean springer shotgun pistol thing two whole dollars way to start this out let's go big next we have our mini hfc gas non-blowback so this gun's like super silent but super deadly on the field not really because it's an airsoft gun it has an orange tip thanks youtube so we have to justify this is just an airsoft channel but this is the hfc non-blowback it has this little stick mag. It holds, I think, six shots I loaded into it. And it has the green gas filler there. And then this one, I got my little cheat sheet here. It's a $24 pistol that is out of stock, so I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore or they just don't have it right now. Next up, my lovely assistant's handing me my stuff off screen. She'll be in screen later. I'll make her come in here. So, yeah, and she has a channel now, too. So we'll get to that later too. And it may be in the description if I can find it. But third gun on the list is the Elite Force CQB Revolver. Thanks to Sam of Airsoft Columbia for hooking this up in a mystery box. I totally didn't expect to get a pistol from him. But this has been featured on this channel. We've done Russian Roulette with three BBs. We had to do it like nine times. The woman was irritated. A lot of you people noticed that. So yeah, she was mad. You heard her giggle. She lost. Just saying. But yes, the Elite Force CQB Revolver. This one is... Where is it? Oh, no. You didn't write it down, did you? Yeah, I did. Um, it is $100 brand new. This one was used, and he did not have room to fit the box inside the box, so it did not come with the box. A lot of my items have came from NEPA Airsoft or mystery boxes I have done from... Evic and Amped. Amped, I didn't get a gun. I don't know why I mentioned that, but Amped Airsoft, check them out. Next up, we have the Barry Burden Mod Samurai Edge Resident Evil Pistol, or if you're in Japan, Biohazard. So this gun was super cool. I actually had to get a second version of it because the first one I ordered, We Tech did not have... The flash hide and the muzzle brake up front or the rail attachment. It was just the basic Samurai Edge in black with an extended mag. So I had to send it back, wait about three weeks. But they did fix it, remove the orange tip inside. It is a high cap, double stack mag. So this gun's pretty cool to run. Um, it is also green gas, select fire, semi, and full auto on this pistol. So we will go on to the next, which that one was 145. This one is just a cheap double bell Glock that I actually won in a giveaway. I ran it in my sniper setup and unfortunately it sticks bad and it's not snappy. And half the time you shoot it, yes, it is camo tape. The camo tape does not affect the slide in any way, shape or form. Um, this one I do not have a price on. There's not much info on it. It looks like a Glock 17, Glock 18, but it is a nice little high cap mag. So that's pretty sweet. So we'll go on to the next one. Next, we have the original WeTech Samurai Edge. Very snappy, nice little gun. I love this pistol. This is one I am a big Resident Evil fan, as you guys have seen from some of my videos. I do have my own Resident Evil loadout for when I do indoor, which is never, because I like outdoor better. Sorry, I'm not a speed boy. Pew, pew. Um, yeah, but keeping it real, this is the actual license. It has stars. I like playing with my toys. I am sorry. It has safety and semi-only on this one. This one is not the full auto version. And it does come with a nice double stack mag as well. Next up, we have our non-blowback Glock 19 from Hillbilly Airsoft. This is when I first started Airsoft. I did not have a pistol. 
This is uh, kind of a go-to, but it is also now kind of adapted into my woman's loadout when she doesn't want to run her pistol that she just wanted to give away, which she will have videos coming soon. So be watching for that. But this is the non-blowback Umarex Glock 19 with trademarks. It is a fully licensed Glock non-blowback. See, no slide movement. Yay! But it does very good on CO2. And this one was... Had BBs on it. But it has no guy, so it's okay. So we'll go on to the next one. Safety first. Check your guns before you play with them. This one is an awesome giveaway that I won. LA Kappa Customs. Thank you so much for introducing me to the Tokyo Marui. 5.1 high kappa. A lot of speed boys have used this gun, but I like to run this with my ghillie suit because it has that snap, but it also has the range. So we'll get into that one with its little trademarks and everything else. So it is a really fast gun too, but the CO2, or uh, it is actually green gas, not CO2. I got it confused with another one. But this one is a very, 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 very snappy pistol. Tokyo Marui. First one I've ever owned. This one is quite a bit. I remember. I think it was $145. Yeah, $145 pistol. And now we are going on to the grenade launcher we have received from our collection that we have been buying from NEPA Airsoft. This thing is a monster. It takes the Master Mike shells, which I think I have packed away right now because as of this time of the season, I'm waiting on a new suit, a brown suit, to run winter and early spring games. So there's that. This is actually from Milsim Labs. They build custom props and stuff for airsoft movies and everything else, but this thing actually packs a punch. NEPA has customized it to make it easy to load. And I will need the second one as well. Then we go on to the AGM MP007, which is also the German MP40. This one has a custom flash hider, obviously. Not a real gun. I just like the German weaponry for the airsoft loadouts. Has nothing to do with political views at all whatsoever before you guys comment something dumb. And not only one, we can akimbo these fools. Let me get it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. So two MP40s, 150 bucks a piece. So that would bring those to about 300 on EVIC. So I'm waiting on the next one because my assistant wasn't expecting me to hand her both MP40s. And then here comes the one that I donated to her. This is also from Hillbilly Airsoft. This is the MP5 by Elite Force. This is the competition series. The reason it's a competition series is because it comes with both stocks. This adjustable one here to make it more compact for CQB. And then you have the full stack, which this gun can be ran from the front battery all the way to the rear so you can run your rear and your full stock and it is full open stock so you can do that kind of thing run bigger batteries not have to fight with undoing the front of this to keep that going next here is an exclusive this gun right here is my first sniper thanks to dennis which is going to be an item that gets given away at 2,000 subs, which we are a ways away from that. That's fine. And he has decided to let me give away the scope as well. But this is a VSR-10. It's a Well MB-02. And it has not been upgraded, so I'm going to leave it how it is instead of upgrading it. So then you guys can upgrade it however you like. But the scope is included thanks to Dennis. So make sure you give him a big shout out on... Instagram, which I will also have down below maybe if I can find it. But this gun is actually very snappy as well. It it does have it does need a new inner barrel, I will tell you that, because when you shoot, you kind of and it can't shoot the heavy stuff yet. So next is a customized gun from my friend Austin. He gave me this one because he had too many guns. 
It is the G36C from Umarex. Uh, fully licensed, but he did make the um, G36. I can't remember which one, but he put the scope from the G36 on top of the other G36. So now it's a two-tone G36 with lots of rail space, fun things. And the flash hider needs a new paint job. Yes, I know. I'm a gilly guy. I hate my orange tips, but I do transport everything safely, as should you. Make sure your mags are out. Make sure you wear your eye pro when you shoot, which I don't know all the time. So, next gun. I kind of gave up on giving prices. I'm sure you guys can keep up. It's 4186 Right here is a gift from my friend Donald. It is the AK-105 by SEMA. SIMA, C-Y-M-A, whatever you want to choose to call them. I call them SEMA. I'm sure it's SIMA, but SEMA, that sounds better. But yes, this is a full adjustable stock. It is top wire, AK-47 with adjustable stock. So we are going on to the next, maybe. Yes, it didn't lock at all. Next, we go on to the well or seven Uzis. Not one, but we're going to the Kimball again with two of them. These are the Israeli editions. These ones actually unfold, maybe, if I remember how to do it. Embarrassing. They do something. Can't tell you what. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It does unfold on the stock. So then you get a longer reach, but these are the low-powered ones. So this is fun. I will have an updated collection video coming next year because I got some other stuff on the way. But I figured, why not show off $4,000 in guns? Who doesn't want to see that? Whatever. I can't fix the stock. I'll fix it later. But we'll keep on going. Next up is the SEMA Winter Edition Custom Camo Paint Job done by myself. It goes with a winter setup that I have, but Ohio chooses to snow only when it wants to. And I should have done this video instead of an MG42 Winter Christmas Edition. But MG42, who, who doesn't like to see an Airsoft MG42? But yes, another... Actually, this one is rear-wired, which is awesome. Everybody trashes this brand. SEMA has been great. SIMA, SEMA... Whatever you want to call it, just call it a name. But we're going to keep on rolling. Next up, I don't know what she's going to hand me. So it's a mystery to me. And you guys can check all the prices and stuff. I'm, I may take the time to list all of them. But that's just going to make you guys read more. I know you guys just want to see the guns. Next up is a mystery box win for the first time. Not really. Mystery box win from Evic. $99 open box deal. This is the APS Phantom Extremist Mark I. And it does have that nice adjustable stock. We've done a review on this recently. Check that out. It may be on this side of the screen. So be watching for that. If you guys want to see that unboxing. And then the custom built Javelin Airsoft Works AKM by Austin. This was a rescue build. The gun was shooting like low FPS when I got it. It is a very old gun, like six or seven years old, I believe. Half of the pins just kind of slide around in it, so I have to make do with it. So this gun is like my Milsim go-to with Russian kit loadouts. Obviously, I love my AKs because that's the most I have. Six shooters. No, I'm just kidding. I don't like revolvers. That's why you ain't seen none other than one. But... The AKM, select fire, obviously. You can't have an airsoft AK without full auto. Next up is my newest one. This was a gift on Christmas from my woman. She decided to get me an Evike mystery box. Evik. I said Evike. I did it. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Everybody else does it. It's Evik, not Evike. You're welcome. But... $150 mystery box. I got another APS, but this is the APS Phantom Extremist Mark 1 Dash C, because she said it's important to say the dash. This one has a longer rail, a cooler 
muzzle flash. Flash hider for you nerds. And then a sick five point adjustable stock, which this one is wired to the Tamiya. The other one is wired to Dean's, which is confusing on why they did that. This also is the electric blowback as well, but this is going to be a fun gun to run. It is M lock compatible, so make sure you get your attachments. And next is another gift from my woman because she got taxes back. And she was like, I know you like Crytek. No, C7 Viper, this isn't a vector, but it is Crytek. And I love my Crytek. And it goes to a lot of events. A lot of open plays have been seen with this gun. Run cam footage has been awesome on this gun. This nice little foregrip from Airsoft Columbia. My little red dot sight, which is green dot as well. So red green dot sight. So I hope you guys are liking this so far. And my most recent item, which I said I would never own, so I sold out before you guys comment. Matt Austin Dennis, C7 Viper, um, um, all my loving fans that said sell out. This gun is the most recent. The SSG 24 from Novrich. I said I would never own it, but I got it. Okay, it was on sale from a friend, so I wanted to see. And I'm glad I did because I bought into everybody else saying that it was terrible. But the SSG 24. And. Ow! <laughs> there went the Crytek. She's breaking stuff off screen. This thing is my size. Ugh. What do you expect? Ugh. Ugh. Airsoft MG 42. No, that was over exaggerated. It is heavy. Comes with that nice little bipod. Real wood. Them fake light grips. Everybody needs fake a light. So, this is the last gun of the collection. Now, I just knocked over a whole ass monster. Grab it. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> bloopers. Told you something always goes wrong in these videos. And I'm going to keep it because, yeah, fun times. But MG42, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this collection. This is a $600 gun. Bought it from my friend Donald. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And hit that like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm giving away a VSR 10 plus some other stuff here very soon. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And my lovely assistant that's handing me a towel to clean up my spilled monster. Hi. Ah! But you guys have a good one. I hope you guys have a great New Year's. Uh, this video is the day before New Year's Eve, obviously. So happy New Year anyway. And I can't wait to see you guys in 2021.